Hi there! Welcome to the Trango onboarding video series. In these videos, we'll help you off to a flying start with Trango. Let's start off with a quick tour around the Trango inbox. First, we'll talk about the left menu. Your conversations can always be found in your inbox. Those conversations will either have the status new, assigned, closed, or spam. New contains all new messages that still require a response. Assigned shows all the conversations that have been picked up. And in closed, you can find all the conversations that are finished. All other headings in the left menu can be seen as subdivisions or filters of the inbox. For example, a conversation can be found in new as well as in teams. The filters can be personalized by hiding a heading and by clicking on the three dots. The latter allows you to only show relevant filters. When there is a new incoming conversation, it will be shown in new. In order to reply, one can either assign the conversation to themselves or assign it to a team or a user. Let's take the example of assigning to yourself. Once you click on assign to me, the message will disappear from the new inbox. So the team members are aware the conversation is being dealt with. Then it will transfer to assign to me under the personal inbox. In the assigned to me inbox, you can find all conversations that are picked up or assigned to you. After you have responded, you can close the conversation, which transfers the conversation to the closed inbox. If your contact responds to that message, the conversation will arrive anew again. Starting a conversation. You can start a new conversation by clicking the create conversation icon on the top left. This opens a new conversation window in which you can write a new message. Select the channel you want to send your message from. Now it is time to select the recipients of the message. Done writing your message? Then don't forget to hit the send button. If you'd like to create a draft message without sending it, you can click the arrow next to send and click send later. This places the message in assigned to me and you can choose to send it manually whenever you would like. Contacts and profiles. To manage your contacts, you can click on this button. In Trango, customer contact details can be saved on two levels, contacts and profiles. Now, we first may need to explain that. A contact in Trango can be seen as a contact detail, such as an email address or a phone number. When customers are contacting you, interactions on different channels create separate contacts. In case the contact was not known in your account yet, a new contact is automatically created. Let's say you receive an email from an email address that you did not receive emails from before. A new contact is created and named as the email address. To adjust the contact, you can go to the right sidebar of a conversation by clicking on the four stripes and the block icon at the top of a conversation. Click on the contact detail at the top and change the name. A profile is a bundling of contacts. It allows you to have all the contact details belonging to one entity in one overview. Click on Attach Profile and enter the name of a saved profile you want to find or to create a new one. Profiles are especially useful for companies that have frequent contact with their customers. These companies usually have a B2B focus. In case you primarily have one-time contact with customers, managing profiles may be unnecessary. The right sidebar. To view more information on a conversation and a contact, click on this icon at the top of each conversation. This will open a sidebar to the right. Here, you can find information on your contact, the profile, contact moments, and custom fields that you can create yourself. The sidebar is especially useful because it shows you all previous contact moments with one specific contact or a profile. Tagging and internal notes. If you want to involve one of your colleagues in a conversation, you can click on the bottom bar to type an internal comment. You can address your colleague by typing an at followed by their name. The customer won't be able to see these internal messages. When you receive a so-called tag, which means someone sent you an internal message, you will be notified by the notification bell. Behind the tag, a check mark is shown. By checking it, you're letting the sender know that you read their message. After receiving a tag, a new folder called mentioned will be shown in the personal inbox. By using the check mark, the conversation jumps to done and will be taken out of the mentioned folder. Favorites and reminders. You can keep track of important conversations by using favorites and reminders. Let's start off with reminders. 
Reminders are useful when you want to reply to a message at a later point. You can create a reminder for a conversation by clicking here. Set a date and a time for when you want to be reminded. The conversation will now be closed and put in the reminder folder, right here. But when it's time, the conversation will automatically reopen in the assigned to me inbox. When there's a conversation you don't necessarily want to follow up on, but do want to keep an eye on, you can mark it as a favorite. Now it will get their own overview, just as reminders. This way you can easily keep track of important conversations. Labels. It's essential to keep your inbox stay organized. That's why you can label your conversations in Trango. Admin users can easily create labels in the settings and give them names such as finance or urgent. At the top of each conversation, you can find the, what we call the three dots menu. Here, you can find more features to process a conversation. You can forward a conversation to email, mark it as spam, or merge two different conversations. That brings us to the end of the Trango Inbox Tour. Thanks for watching.